Hey guys, it's Kent again with another Jack of All Trades video clip and today I'm going to show you how to fix a Samsung dryer that's not putting out any heat when you try to dry a load of clothes. With this project you'll need just a small amount of tools to do the job. Simply just a Phillips screwdriver or a drill with driver bits, a putty knife, and a multimeter that can indicate continuity. Before we get started, let's go ahead and unplug that dryer from the high voltage outlet so there's no chance of getting shocked or causing any electrical damage to the dryer while you're working on it. Now the best way to access all the components in the dryer is simply by popping the hood. The way we're going to do that is with our putty knife. We're going to go ahead and shimmy that between the hood, the bottom of the hood, and the front door of the dryer. You'll probably need to uh, just wiggle it a bit while you're pulling on top of the hood to go ahead and release the hood bracket or release the hood from the brackets that's holding it down. Once you open the hood, you'll notice that with this style of dryer, there's a wire connected from the back of the dryer to the front wiring harness uh, on the front door of the dryer. Uh, you want to be careful when opening and closing that hood. You don't want to pull that wire too hard and you definitely don't want to get that wire pinched between the hood and maybe the side of the frame. So what I did was I found this uh, piece of plastic tubing to hold the hood up while I was able to access, you know, all the different screws that I need to access to be able to pull the front door off. In order to remove the front door, you'll notice that there's um, six screws that's holding it on. There's three screws on top. And then once you open the front door uh, panel, there's three screws inside on the face of the door. So you'll need to remove those screws with your Phillips screwdriver and also you'll see on top of the door um, that there are two brackets, one on each end or each side of the door that's kind of holding the door. Um, it's setting on top of those brackets, the door frame. So you'll pull up on the, that door um, where those brackets are, it will come over the brackets and then at the bottom you'll, you'll kind of be connected to a hinge that just pulls right out of those two hinges at the bottom. I do highly recommend disconnecting the wiring that's going to the wiring harness on the front door before you pull the door from the frame of the dryer. That way there's less of a chance of that wiring being pulled too hard and possibly causing some damage to the wire or the wiring harness. Now that we got the front door off the dryer, the next step is removing the front frame uh, that's holding the uh, dryer drum in place. And you'll notice another set of wires that's coming from that on the lower right side and making a connection with the wiring harness that goes down underneath the, the drum of the dryer. So we wanna disconnect that and then you'll notice that there's, uh, on this particular style of dryer, there's five screws that need to be removed, again, with your Phillips screwdriver uh, to be able to get this front uh, casing or frame off of the dryer so we can access removing the drum. Now that I removed all the screws in the front, I'm going to go ahead and lift this casing up and out and show you the two wheels that are in, on the inside. These wheels help to support the, the dryer drum when it's rotating with your clothes inside. Uh, what we wanna do now is be able to uh, remove the drum, which the drum is connected with this belt that goes around it, and then also wraps around two pulleys that are underneath the drum itself. 
So I'm going to stick my camera in here so that way you can see where the pulleys are. It's a simple pulley system. And then I'll also go ahead and give you a view from the back of the dryer as I remove the belt. And it'll make it really easy for you to understand how to release this belt from the pulley system so we can get the dryer drum out. I definitely recommend pulling up on the belt of the drum while you're trying to get the drum out from the dryer. That way there's no slack on the bottom for that belt to get caught on anything while you're trying to remove it from the dryer. Also don't forget to clean out your lint tray or your exhaust fan, your exhaust pipes, make sure there's no lint or debris left in there. That could definitely cause some of your dryer components to fail. And finally, we get to the components that may be causing our dryer not to heat while we're trying to dry a load of laundry. These components are located directly on the heating element. You'll see three different sets of terminals. The first terminal is going to be the um, coils. It's connected to the coils inside the, the heating element. The second set of terminals will be um, the thermostat. And then the third set of terminals will be the high limit thermal cutout fuse. Next, we want to remove the wires from each terminal and test the continuity across the terminals of each component. Don't forget to take a picture of how the wires are connected so that way when you go to reconnect the wires later, you connect them properly. After testing the continuity across each component, I realized that the high limit thermal cutoff fuse was bad. So what they say is that usually if this component goes bad, then the thermostat needs to be replaced as well. So that's my next step is removing these two components and replacing with new parts. When it comes to replacing the components, it's super easy with removing the old components and installing the new ones. It's basically two screws. You're gonna use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove both. Once you get your new parts, I recommend testing them out and checking the continuity across them before installing them in your dryer. After you installed your new parts, you want to reconnect the wires to the terminals on each component. And now you're ready to install the drum back in the dryer. Make sure that when you're reinstalling the drum, you want to make a connection uh, from the lip of the drum to the wheels that support it to rotate. Once you slide the drum back in, you're going to want to reach underneath the drum towards the back of the dryer to reconnect the dryer belt to the pulley system. Reinstalling the door goes back on the opposite way that you had taken it off. You want to start with the hinges at the bottom and lift up the door and set it in those hinges. And then you'll see at the top, there's two clamps, one on each side. And that's where the door is going to lift up over slightly and then sit on top of those clamps. However, before you make that uh, connection with those clamps, I recommend that you make the connection with the front door sensor or switch by connecting that wire to the wire harness. Once you get that connection made, you'll reinstall the front door of the dryer by screwing back in the six screws, three on the face of the door and three on the top. All that's left is closing the hood and plugging the power cord back in. If this video helped you out, please like and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on another Jack of All Trades.